Hey, this is Homa from Homa Studio, and welcome back to our GORM IDE series. In this video, which I think is number eight, we're going to connect to a MySQL database using PHP, and we're going to use a PHP file and do that through the web so you can see it in a browser rather than just doing that in the terminal. So where I am right now is I have my GORM PHP container open, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder in here to do this. Also, I'll open up my startup text and I'll get my SQL server started just by copying and pasting and then I'll get my Apache web server also going and I do this every time these two files and I'll paste that and hit return or enter and make sure they say done and they don't say fail so we have everything running and I'm gonna go to project running URL and port and I'm gonna open up in a browser. Right now I'm going to actually go to PHP my admin because we're going to need to look at our database a little bit to get some information. So I'll just type in PHP my admin. I think I have that right. And we're going to log in with PHP my admin as the username and root as the password. And keep in mind you can change this at some point if you need. And in our last video we created a database called my underscore CDs, all lowercase. And it consisted of a table called CDs. And here's the CDs table. And inside there, I'll ignore all here, there were six items. So there were six rows in our table. And so far they were just Smith CDs that I had in some kind of made up CD database. Anyway, we're gonna connect to that. So I'm gonna go back to GORM and I'll cancel out of this, even though we will open a file, but I'll just cancel right now. And I'm gonna make a folder inside here. Now at one point there was a problem making a folder. You had to use terminal to do it, but you should be able to go right on this folder and hit the plus sign. And I'm going to make a folder or directory, and I'll just call it uh, CD for now. And I'll just hit OK. And then inside that folder, I'll select that folder, make sure it's selected. And I'll make a file. And I'll just call it index.php. And it has to have the .php so it knows it's a PHP page. And our server will recognize that code when it's in there. And it has to be indexed because that's the first page that's going to be in that folder. And when we connect to it, we're going to make sure that we go to the CD folder that's inside the GORM PHP directory. Now, let me just say first, I'm not an expert at PHP, so I'm going to be copying some code and modifying some code. So I'm not going to type code right out of my head. So I'm going to go to a resource that I like called W3Schools and go to their PHP tutorial and we'll get some code all ready to use from there. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'll look for my SQL database and we'll just use the connect code just to get started. And it has this whole thing about my SQLI and PDO. I'm going to use the my SQLI procedural. So if I scroll down, I'm going to look for that. I've just used that in the past and I'm going to stick with it because I haven't had a problem with it. And this is the code and I'm just going to copy this code and it's going to connect to our database. That's all this code is going to do. So I'm going to copy that and I'll just go back here and I'll paste over this because it will have PHP tags in there. So there they are. So there's the opening PHP tag. This is the closing and it has some PHP variables that start with a dollar sign and they represent localhost is our server. Our username is going to be PHP my admin. So I'll put in PHP my admin if you did something different or if you create something different, make sure you change that. And let me make sure I don't have an extra Y in there, PHP my admin. And our password is root. And we're just connecting to the server right now. We're not connecting to our database. Now this is a function, a my SQLI function that's specifically used for connecting to the server. And it's called con with a dollar sign. And it's basically using these variables to connect. And that's all we're doing. We're not going to the database yet. And then there's just a little statement down here. Let me bring this down a little bit. And it's just an if statement. It doesn't even have an else. And it's basically if not, it has an exclamation point. And it's basically saying if it doesn't connect, it's going to say connection failed and it's going to show an error. And then if it does connect, it's going to echo. Echo is PHP for kind of printing out. And it'll say echo connected successfully. So that's our goal to say, to have it say connected successfully. Now we can have an if else statement if we wanted to, and we can put whatever we want, but we'll just use this for now. So we're going to see if we could connect using this. It has an asterisk there right now. So that means it's not saved. So I'm going to do command S because I'm on a Mac and I'll save it. And then I'll view this page. Now the easiest thing is just to go back here and click on this button and it opens up a new tab. Now I'm going to go into GORM PHP. Now it's going into that initial index page, but I'm also going to go into 
the CD folder. So I have a folder just called CD. So it's inside the GORM PHP container and then it's a directory called CD and I'll just hit enter and it should go to that index page and it says connected successfully. So that's working. So we're already connected to our database. If we had a problem here, let me cancel out of this. If I put riot instead of root or something like that and I saved it and I went back here and I refreshed, I'd get a connection failed, access denied, and it's even showing me that it has something to do with the password. So I'll go back there and I'll fix this. So now we're connecting and we're displaying that. Now what's gonna be more fun is gonna be actually displaying information on our page. Now we're gonna do one where we just kind of display the information and that's it. But then we could use SQL queries to actually display things we want and eventually we can we can insert records into a database from PHP and add them to our database. So we do that in our database class, but I'm just getting you started now with just connecting. So we're connected right now, so that's good. I think what I'll do is I'll stop this video since we're already connected and I'll pick up on the next video and I'll show you how to go through and actually display our information on a page that's using a little bit more PHP. That won't take that long either. But again, just to review, we created a folder called CD. We made an index PHP file. Here it is, and let me make sure it's saved because it's in an unsaved state, but now it's saved. And we started up our MySQL server, we started up our web server, and then we made sure we viewed our page wherever it is. It's in a directory called CD, and there it is. Now if I refresh it, now that I update it again, now it should say connected successfully. So we're connected using PHP. The next thing we're gonna do is display some information on our page, and we'll do that in our next video.